If you've ever wondered why a breakout suddenly fails or what separates a real move from a fake one, that answer is usually hidden in the order flow. The CVD oscillator that we've just developed within the View App Wave System Toolkit is built to expose that exact story. Who is really in control? The buyers or the sellers? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works how to interpret it, and most importantly, how to use it across all four View App Wave System core setups. This is so you can learn to trade with the flow of volume, not against it. So let's dive into the charts. So the CVD stands for cumulative volume delta. It measures the difference between aggressive buying, traders that are lifting the ask, and aggressive selling of traders hitting the bid. Over time, these transactions accumulate, forming what's called the cumulative delta, or the net buying and selling pressure. As VWAP Wave System traders, we believe that there's a hidden story within the order flow. That every breakout, every reversal, every fake move, that the truth is hidden in that order flow. So we're introducing the CVD oscillator. This is to help you see who's really in control the buyers or the sellers. And that's this oscillator right here at the bottom on TradingView. Let's go over real quickly how to install it. Once you've set up your account with Flux Charts at vwapwave.com forward slash toolkit, you need to make sure you have access to the indicator through your Flux Charts account. Once you do so, you'll go over to the indicators. It will be right here in your invite only scripts. Okay, and then it's this one right here, the CVD oscillator by Flux Charts. It'll then appear on the chart. I'll go over my settings a little bit really quick. This is on the one minute. I like a really short term oscillator. So I've lowered my cumulative delta to seven. My signal line is one. My confirmation line is 50. This is the default. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's a lot of extra features in here that you may want to explore at a later time. But for the basics of this video, we're gonna get started with simply the cumulative delta, the signal line, and the confirmation line. Okay, we do have these overbought, oversold areas, but this green and red fat candlesticks, this is gonna be your cumulative delta. The thinner green and red line, this is gonna be your signal lines. And I changed my confirmation line to purple. It comes as yellow. I like to see it a little darker. And that's gonna be your confirmation line. Okay, this is kind of your line in the sand. When we're over it, buyers are really in control. When we're under it, sellers are more in control, but that's the longer term picture. Uh, we'll have shorter term order flow as well to follow with the chart. And again, this is on the one minute. We'll do future videos on the more uh, elaborate settings of the impulse signals, trend dots. This is the uh, help you see overarching trends, um, but we're, we're not gonna use it for the purposes of this video and for using it to trade the view app wave system setups. Now, before we go any further, I need to clear something up on trading view. We don't actually have access to raw exchange level bid ask data. Trading view actually aggregates volume from multiple feeds. So it doesn't process every tick through a true bid ask filter like a trade of aid or a ninja trader does. So this tool isn't the real CVD in the strict order flow sense. But here's the key point. Even using aggregated volume data, the View App Wave CVD oscillator still does an incredible job visualizing momentum and buying or selling intent. So that's the idea here. The pattern of expansion, contraction, and slope still tracks shifts in the control of buyers and sellers. So that makes it extremely useful for identifying strength, exhaustion, and confirmation across our multiple setups and scalping momentum. So in my own trading, um, I still use true delta feeds on trade of eight for precision and particularly divergences, but the view app wave toolkits oscillator is going to give you remarkably close picture of the same information. Okay. So directly on your trading view charts in the same workspace as your view app bands, your volume profile and your initial balance to make it super convenient. So I want you to start thinking of this as your momentum order flow hybrid. It's not tick by tick. DOM CVD data, all right, but still a powerful contextual layer that tells you who's pressing, who's fading, and when control changes hands, all right? So that's what we're going to be using this for. 
Now, just to show you a side-by-side -side comparison, this is actually the one-minute actual cumulative delta on trade of eight versus the one-minute CVD oscillator. So you can actually see some stark comparisons, right? This is 255, 255 upswing on the delta here, matching it on the CVD oscillator. Same with this downswing, upswing here. Uh, details on the oscillator as opposed to the real CVD. Okay, so there, there's benefits uh, to using both, um, but they need to be used in context. So I just did want to show you a comparison and how, um, you know, relatable they actually are, um, but we still need to keep our context. Now, it's important to understand um, what each of these lines means and how they work, okay? So an, this oscillator is a lagging indicator, okay? Um, but each of the signals um, and lines that pre are presented have different levels of sensitivity. So our signal line, this one that turns green and red, is going to be our most up-to-date and accurate of the most current and updated order flow. Okay, so for my scalpers, this is going to be uh, your lifeblood right here. This is where we're going to see the immediate order flow. Okay, the intermediate sensitivity is going to be these fat red and green candles. Okay, this is going to be trying to spot uh, overarching trends and whether we're staying below or above the confirmation line, which is going to be our slowest and uh, highest level of lagging um, trend spotting. Okay, so there's three layers in here and you can take them into confluence when they're all going the same way. That's obviously your highest conviction plays and direction, that's momentum. When they're chopping around each other, you know, that's going to be our flat and choppy conditions. You can see um, when the candles are fatter or thinner, this is more conviction. Okay, so kind of use that as your interpretation for confluence and conviction. Um, when they're thinner and flipping around like they are here, okay, this is more of a balanced price area, a very tight range. There's no clear control, okay? And when the confirmation line really smooths out as well, that's going to be our uh, our flattening of direction or momentum. So when we have sloping confirmation, that's going to be our overarching direction, kind of like our VWAP, right? So our confirmation line is very similar to the VWAP. And then when we're, uh, you know, we sit above the confirmation, that means buyers are in control of the tape. When they drop below, that's sellers. And then when they cross the line, there's going to be a momentum shift. Now, you have to take that into perspective with the three layers of confirmation. So if you're a real short-term trader, remember, you're going to be focusing on the shortest-term line, right? And then the confirmation and the candles can give you a filter, all right? So when this is green, you know, then you're looking for scalp longs, all right? The one biggest problem you're going to have with the medium and the longer term, so the confirmation line and the thicker candles, the intermediate, is that it's not going to spot these uh, to the level scalps that I often do on stream, right? When we get to a, a uh, certain level where I'm looking for the reaction, I get in at the level to the touch, okay? This is going to be used more as a confirmation tool, okay? So for those of you who are looking to get in and wait for more direction, and momentum in one particular direction before taking a position guys this is going to help you a lot all right i do both okay so i'll often take scalps at a setup location right uh I'll, then i'll scale out with confirmation or try and hold a runner all right so that helps me do that if i don't have a position i see or we see we clearly held at a setup location like this price discovery continuation short now I can wait for confirmation, right? So the turn of the signal line, right? And then follow this down until I get a reversal in the signal line or a candle closes. Now, something that a lot of other people like to do, and this is quite popular with the CVD, is transitioning to over to Heikinashi candles. This further smooths out the price action for my confirmation traders, all right? So you're not necessarily going to take this trade, price discovery continuation short, until it flips, right? So you're waiting for the flip of the Heikinashi, right? The candles are red, we're on price discovery. We now have confirmation and we can try and hold this until we get to a, a take profit level or we get a flip in the signal line um, or we get a crossover. So there's a lot of different ways to use this to help confirm your longer term trades or hold a runner, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be one or the other, you can do both. 
and I encourage you to try using both, which helps you trade the best. Um, a lot of people do prefer the Heiken Ashi. It keeps them patient. It keeps them waiting for the direction to be in your favor, especially when we come to a high conviction level like we did with this weekly VWAP, price discovery continuation short. Uh, actually, this is monthly VWAP. This is weekly VWAP, right? So you would have gotten a signal long here as we started trading above, okay? We got uh, a sell, so you know it wasn't a very big move. We held above the confirmation line long again here at the double bottom, right? And then this one could have been held all the way back up to the price discovery continuation short location or IB low, right? By using the oscillator on the one minute with the Heiken Ashi, right? So these layers really help you match up um, consistent side of the order flow and trying to really capture the momentum moves with either a runner or uh, more of a position trade. Okay, let's talk a little bit about recognizing the different market conditions, okay? Some things that you can do to recognize the different market using the oscillator is if we're flat, we have alternating bars and a flat slope, this is gonna be your balance or chop conditions. You can stay patient or try to fade the value or extremes if we have a distribution. If we have thick, consistent bars like we do here, Right. This is going to be our price discovery move out of this uh, distribution we, we built here and the auction is tipped to the upside. If we have shrinking bars or a flattening slope like we did here, right? this could be your sign of exhaustion and there were traps and reversals form so you can be waiting to go long. So you can help use this oscillator to help give you a little bit of um, a market read on top of your uh, volume profile and VWAP. You can also use the oscillator to help develop a bias. All right, if there's a green rising slope, all right, we're gonna expect buyer control for the uh, short term. There's a falling red slope, all right, that's gonna be sellers are in control. You can combine this with VWAP context, all right? So let's look at a couple of different situations, how we could be using this tool, right? We're looking for price, price discovery to the upside. Right, we're, uh, we've been in price discovery above the upper band here. We're coming back to upper band, uh, but we have, uh, we're below the signal line and uh, kind of big red selling until we get this reclaim here, which could have been a great place to go long for the reclaim price discovery. All right, short signals, flat, no real good opportunities to go long. Um, and then we have more upside potential here, All right? And then the flip. Return to value is triggered, all right? We start trading under upper band, everything drops below the signal line and everything is going straight down, right? All the way to the VWAP where we start to get a little bounce, buy signal right around here, right? And taps out, turns red. So you can capture these moves with a little more reliability, all right? So that was a VWAP bounce, return to value. Uh, a lot of people have trouble. When do we take the price discovery versus a uh, return to value? So this oscillator is going to give you a little more insight on the short term of when to get positioned. All right. You know, when it was the best buy spot on this price discovery. So we sat here for, you know, 20 minutes. This is a Asia, right? We're kind of still trading underneath the confirmation line here. We're kind of flattening out on the candles. When we finally started trading above the signal line and we got this upward slope, that's when we finally got the big move up. And this price discovery down day, right? We're trading below the signal line, right? This is the first time we actually traded above it. Price discovery continuation short, weekly upper band, rejects. We get the sell signal and we can keep taking this lower, right? Um, this is kind of the oversold area, but as you all know, with an indicator like this, we can stay oversold. So even though it's flat, it's just because we've reached extremes. This is actually an indicator of extreme bearish behavior, right? This is as low as we can go. We're pretty much at zero, right? So it can't keep going lower because it's on a scale of zero to 0 0.10, right? So keep that in mind, right? This is actually extreme bearish behavior. It's not a flattening. So let's talk about how we connect this to the entire view app wave system. All right, so setup number one, price discovery continuation. This is when price is breaking out of value and see the oscillator flipping positive with thick green or red delta, depending on the move. And that confirms the move is being supported by real buying. All right, if you're long on a pullback and the delta stays strong or flips back to the retest, this is gonna be your green light to hold. 
Okay, we have setup number two, fade value area extremes. That's when we tag the one standard deviation band we've been trading in balance. And delta is starting to show exhaustion. We have shrinking bars, flattening slope. This tells you that the move is running out of fuel. This could be a perfect spot to fade, especially using the shortest term signal line. Setup number three is gonna be the return to value. And this one's really powerful. Uh, this is when we have a failed price discovery, all right? It's coming to an end and we're gonna have a return to value. We're gonna look for the oscillator to have a big reversal move and trade above the signal. Setup number four is the view at bounce. This is when price is gonna pull back to a mid trend. You'll wanna see a delta reset and then a reclaim of the signal line, right? Like red turning back to green on the bounce. This is going to be your confirmation that the trend is resuming. So each setup has its own fingerprint and delta. And once you start seeing the rhythm, it's going to become second nature for you. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about divergences. Um, this is great on real cumulative delta on Trade of Eight or Ninja Trader or whatever you're using. Divergence spotting and trading is not suggested with the trading view tool as of due to the lack of the bid and ask exchange data. Okay, so I do not recommend it. I recommend using real CVD to detect real divergences. Another good way of using the tool is it's not just about finding entries. It's about knowing when not to trade. So when you see thin alternating bars or the confirmation line is perfectly flat, this is really a sign of indecision. In these moments, it might be best for you to step aside, let the market build value and then pick a direction. Remember, we, we're not here to trade randomness. We trade structure and conviction. A flat oscillator is your warning that neither side has control. So try not to force your positions. The best thing you can do in a situation like that is to fade value area extremes if you have something on the profile. Let's talk a little bit about exit and profit taking logic. All right, the oscillator will also tell you when to take profits. As a trend or a move matures, you'll notice that the delta slope flattens or starts to cross back against your position. When that happens, even if price hasn't reversed yet, this could be a cue to start scaling out or close the position. On strong days, you'll often see, enough, see a final burst, like a capitulation, a last green surge before the delta collapses. And that's good on the toolkit as well for the vo volume climax. And that's usually the exhaustion high. Okay, so don't wait for the full reversal. When order flow shifts, you react, start taking profits and close the position. And this is how the professionals are protecting their edge. So the whole purpose of this tool is to integrate it with the VWAP wave trading system. All right, so you're gonna overlay the CVD uh, with your VWAP bands, your initial balance and your volume profile. All right, you're gonna fade or follow based on whether we're in balance or price discovery and everything gets tied back to auction market theory, guys. Don't just get stuck in trading the oscillator. All right, we wanna marry the trading system with the oscillator. Okay, that's where you're going to get the best trades and the highest probability of success, right? So when we're in balance, we're looking for the rotation and fades, right? When we're in discovery, we're looking for the continuation fades, maybe eventually a return to value, okay? So you always have to keep that in mind. The aggregated delta is still going to help you capture momentum. We're going to use it to confirm bias, spot exhaustion, and align with view app wave setups. Uh, we combine this with the volume profile and initial balance for the full auction context. Okay. So if you're new to the view app wave system or new to this tool, uh, your first best step is to download my free view app wave course setup guide. There's a link for that in the description below, pick up my best selling book, the view app wave system on amazon.com. It's a top five bestseller in the futures trading category. And if you don't have the toolkit yet, you can get that at viewappwave.com forward slash toolkit. Be sure to join our Discord community where traders are, are learning these setups and trading this every single day. And remember to trade with structure, read the order flow, and ride the view app wave. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next lesson.